First up at 5.30, Horry County students, it's that time of year again for another fantastic first day of school. News 13's Taylor Maresca joins us live. She's outside of St. James Elementary School, where in just a few moments, parents are going to be dropping off their kids to start off that school year. Good morning, Taylor. Hey, good morning. Yeah, we've actually seen a couple school buses come by, probably getting ready to go pick up the kids. Obviously still a little early, so we don't see that drop off line kicking up just yet, but it's going to be such an exciting day. Everyone heading back to school. We're at the elementary school. The middle school is just right across the way, so there's going to be a lot of activity out here today as kids get ready to start the new year. Also, a lot of new things in place this year. Earlier this hour, we talked about a new head of safety and security for Horry County Schools. There's also new weapons detection systems, and there's also a new cell phone policy that's in place for this upcoming school year. News 13's Hannah Huffstickler is going to tell us a little bit more about that. Hannah, good morning. Good morning, Taylor. As nearly 50,000 Oregon County school students prepare for a new school year, which starts this morning, they will also be dealing with some major changes. Along with the new school year, there's also a new cell phone policy that may be forthcoming for students to follow. The State Board of Education has introduced a new policy banning devices and cell phone use during the school day, but it has not been fully approved. If it moves forward, schools that don't comply with the policy risk losing state funding. Students must store their devices and device accessories in their lockers, clear backpacks, or otherwise, di uh, otherwise directed by the school district during the day. Live at St. James Elementary School, Hannah Huffstickler, News 13. Hannah, thank you for that. And starting this year, the district is enforcing a new clear backpack policy as part of the enhanced safety measures. Acceptable bags will include clear totes, purses, and backpacks with mesh or colored accents. Some schools in the district already had this rule in place, but now they'll apply it countywide.